Hey foodies, this is Winnie and I'm back again with another holiday inspired recipe. Today I'm going to show you how to make piri piri chicken. This dish is an absolute delight and is made from a delicious blend of smoked tomatoes and peppers and of course a simple spice marinade that leaves you with the tastiest, most mouth-watering chicken. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another episode of our holiday series edition and this piri piri chicken I'm about to show you how to make today is the tastiest, sumptuous, most delicious mouth-watering chicken recipe ever. I know a lot of you are stressing about what dishes to make this holiday season to impress your family and friends. Not to worry guys, your girl got you all. I recently designed a delicious holiday menu that can help you through this holiday season. It's a free downloadable PDF file that contains three different menu collections you can pick from. Now each menu has an appetizer, three main courses, a dessert and of course drinks. Like what's a holiday season without drinks, right? Every item on each menu has a full recipe breakdown containing the ingredient list and the procedure for cooking. If menu 1 doesn't work for you, I'm sure menu 2 or 3 will do the job. And what's even more fun is that you can create your own unique menu by selecting recipes from the three different menus. But whatever the case may be, you have no excuse not to give your family and friends and even yourself a good treat this holiday season. All recipes in the delicious holiday menu are so easy to make and super duper mouth watering and all of the ingredients are easily accessible and very affordable. Just in case you're interested in this holiday menu, you can use the link in the description box down below. Just click on it and be on your way to getting your free PDF copy. Or you can send us an email to deliciousfood at gmail.com and we'll send the link straight into your inbox. Get right into this cooking action. Begin by transferring the chicken pieces into a bowl. I'm using soft chicken thighs for this recipe because I find that they are the most flavorful part of a chicken, plus they are quite affordable as well. To season these chicken pieces, I use some finely chopped garlic, paprika powder, ground nutmeg, cumin powder, thyme, chicken bouillon cubes, black pepper, salt. <laughs> I'm throwing it in the salt based style. <laughs> and of course some vegetable oil to bind all of the spices together. I like to put on gloves before I begin coating the chicken with the marinade. Now this way I get to massage the spices into the chicken properly and of course my hand stays clean through the mixing process. So go in with your hand and thoroughly massage the spices into the chicken ensuring that you get to every nook and corner of the chicken. Now guys, to get this part right, just imagine you're giving your lover a good body rub or massage. <laughs> Usually I like to marinate my chicken for as much as 24 hours, but you can marinate yours for at least one hour or longer if you have the time. Next we move over to the stove top to begin the cooking process proper. Add some vegetable oil into a pan sitting on medium heat and swirl the pan around to ensure that the bottom of the pan is thoroughly coated with the oil. Now using a kitchen tongue, add the chicken pieces one piece at a time into the pan, skin side down. You guys, at this point, if you don't hear the most beautiful sound in the world, which of course is the sizzle sound, <laughs> then you are doing something absolutely wrong. <laughs> Reduce your heat to medium low and pan sear on one side for 4 to 5 minutes. Now guys, don't be tempted to lift up the chicken or flip to the other side. I promise you it won't burn as long as your heat is set to medium low. Now this will help crisp up the exterior part of the chicken and give you that golden brown color and fried chicken texture. Afterwards, flip over to the other side and allow to pan sear for another 4 minutes. While that is cooking, place another pan on the cooker and drizzle some oil. Allow to heat up and then add the halved fresh tomatoes, the halved onion bulbs, the chili peppers, the scotch bonnet peppers, also known as atarodo, and of course the garlic. Leave to sear on one side till charred marks appear. This should take about three to four minutes. Then flip over to the other side and brown as well. Now this will help create a rich smoky flavor which is the main essence of this recipe. Plus it will help soften up the peppers and onions and make them easy to blend. 
you guys this chard tomato and pepper mix is the truth and for me it's the absolute best part of the entire recipe next transfer the chard ingredients into a blender add some paprika powder some thyme some cumin powder nutmeg black pepper chicken bouillon cubes and some salt blend until completely pureed now what you have after blending is a smoky pureed goodness that smells so good <laughs> Next, transfer the smoky puree into the pan with the grilled chicken thighs and ensure the chicken pieces are coated in the sauce. At this point, you can transfer the pan into the oven and allow the chicken to finish cooking there or you can just cover the pan with the lid with your heat still on medium low and allow to cook gently for about 7-8 to eight minutes. Alright guys, so this has been simmering for about 7 to 8 minutes now, but before we go ahead and reveal it, I just want to remind you that you can get a free downloadable copy of my holiday menu, just in case you do not know what to make for family and friends holiday season. I got you. And I'm sure that this holiday menu is one that you definitely like because all the recipes recipe there are very super easy the ingredients are readily available wherever you are in the world <laughs> so you can just click the link in the description box down below or you can just check up in the caption in this video I'm sure it's somewhere above me okay all right so let's go ahead and open this you guys it smells like heaven in here you definitely want to be in my chain right now nowhere else you would rather oh my goodness this is super duper yum and it smells absolutely delicious. You guys, look at how this is sizzling so nicely. I'm going to finish it off by sprinkling some parsley leaves just right on top of it like so. Just to give it a pop of color and of course for garnish. And that's it guys, our peri peri chicken sauce is ready to go, ready to be devoured. Usually I like to enjoy this with some steamed rice or some fries or just on its own with some salad by the side and stuff. So you can go ahead and do whatever it is you want with this. It totally works well with any and everything. It pairs well with our curry style jollof fries that we made last. Click the link down below to check it out. I'm sure you are definitely going to love it. I've gotten lots of feedback already and the feedback has been pouring in. You definitely want to join the bandwagon so that you can also send me your feedback as well. Alright guys, I'll see you next time with another mouth-watering and delicious recipe. Until then, remember to be very kind to one another, love yourselves generously and Merry Christmas in advance. Take care guys!